Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying Dolly Parton's Homestyle Macaroni and Cheese. This is pasta in a creamy cheese sauce made with real cheddar cheese. This is a party size box, so it is huge. I mean, here's my hand. Then you got the, it's almost five pounds. It's four pounds, 12 ounces. Uh, so it, this is a lot of macaroni and cheese. It was $16.49 at Meyer. And I'm gonna go on and open it up. There's no like pull tab. So you just have to tear it. Okay. So this is like in a container you can take places if you want, like to a function. You want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. You want to remove this lid, which look, it's real easy. It's very simple to remove. So remove the lid. You want to cook it on a baking sheet, which we have, a cookie sheet, um, in the center of the oven for 60 to 65 minutes. And then you want to check that the food is cooked thoroughly, let stand for two minutes, stir, and enjoy. So we're gonna set our timer for 65 minutes. I'm gonna let it go the full time, and then we'll be back. Okay, we've waited, uh, we took it out of the oven, it looked just like this. We've let it sit here, because it said wait two minutes and stir. Honestly, I if, if it didn't tell you to specifically stir, I would have preferred to just dip it out like this, because I like those pieces like this that are on the edge. But, it does tell you to stir it, so I'm going to follow directions. She's usually a rule breaker. Yeah, you, I like breaking the rules. <laughs> I like breaking the rules, but it does stir easily, and I, you know, people want to know how, how easy it is to do. So this is really, really simple. This is after the full 65 minutes, so I'm just going to divvy it out. I believe the serving size is a cup, uh, but that's how much we're going to get, and uh, we'll take it over to the table and give it a try. Okay. So, this, um, it says Dolly Parton Southern Fried Apples. Yeah, that's what that is. Why does it have directions for Southern Fried Apples on the macaroni? Something to have with it? The Dolly Parton Southern Fried Apples are a favorite side dish to serve alongside her creamy macaroni and cheese. Oh, okay. Well, you could do that. Um, <laughs> it's literally apples. And it's literally a, a recipe on the back of the box. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it says uh, there's nine servings in here. One cup is 340 calories. So, if you eat this whole box, it's going to be over 3,000 calories <laughs> of macaroni and cheese. Um, You'd be lucky to eat that whole box. That's a lot. It's a lot. Um, Baking with Dolly.com. These are distributed by ConAgra, this is. They make all kinds of stuff. Uh, they do. They, they make a lot of stuff. So This reminds me of the um, uh, the packages of like macaroni and cheese and dressings and so like that. You get it like uh, Gordon's Food Services and stuff. Mm. The ones that sell like the, the, mm. sell the food schools and churches and stuff like that. I mean, you can go buy stuff there too. Well, if I went to Dolly's house, I would pass on the macaroni and cheese. Hmm. It's kind of got a, a grainy texture to it, doesn't it? It's exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's gritty. A lot of it's um, grainy. A I lot do of frozen like that. frozen macaroni and cheese meals have that. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I do like, um, I'm glad that the, the pasta is not completely mushy. No, it's, it's a little mushier than... Yes, it's a little mushier than I like it, mm -hmm. but there is a there is a little bit of a substance, texture a texture to yeah. it. Um, yeah, it's not completely mushy, but it is a little bit overcooked more compared to what I want. Yes, and that... The cheese is what's bad about it. Yes, it's it's gr it's gritty, grainy. I would never. Mm -hmm. I if I were Dolly, I wouldn't want people to think that I serve <laughs> that good. I mean, Dolly's uh, got. A, let's be honest. Dolly's got a chef making stuff. Uh, yeah, I, absolutely, one hundred percent. Do not believe the cake mixes, the cookies, the whatever. Yeah. None of that. I've tried to say that before. These are selling because she's put her. She's allowed her image to be put on yeah. the box. 
Do like, hey, I believe this is her recipe? I hope not, no, because it's so. not good. Um, and, and to be honest, this was in the oven for 65 minutes. And um, uh, yeah, it was easy to take it out of the freezer, stick it in the oven, and forget about it for you know an hour and five minutes. But I would rather make my own. I would rather go to the trouble, which really it isn't any trouble at all. I would rather make my own baked macaroni and cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah, get two boxes of macaroni and a big metal pan. Because and... people love our baked macaroni mm -hmm. and cheese. And I mean, that's the thing that Andrew and Ashley, <laughs> both of our kids were like, you better have baked the macaroni grandkids. and cheese. Yeah, the grandkids. <laughs> like that. Gavin, like it's his favorite thing yeah. that Nanny makes is the baked um, macaroni and cheese. Truthfully, if I were, of course, this is party size. So you're talking about multiple people. But um, I would rather have box macaroni and cheese in. Oh yes, I would like rather a have macaroni and cheese is better than that. Kraft macaroni and cheese is twice as <laughs> yeah, good. Is. Yes, with the with the neon orange cheese, it is it twice is. as good it's, as this. It's got a better flavor and everything. The only reason this is going to sell is because of who's on the box, yeah. and you know you're whatever. There, yeah. There's actually better family sized macaroni and cheese meals out there mm -hmm. in the same area where that was that taste better. Yeah, I can't compare it to any because I've, oh, I've had like I've had like banquet and, and yeah. all that and so Stouffer's Stouffer's all yeah. those kind of things. They're maybe it's Stouffer's. Anyway, one of those. Um, they're better than this. Yeah, this is just I I wouldn't want to to have this at a get together at all. Like if I was you go to the family reunion and you're going down the line with your plate. If I saw that pan, I would pass because it it it's just not good. And I know it's convenience, but um, you can actually probably make it yourself cheaper. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> like Velveeta shells and cheese is so much better than this. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, there's it's just too many to choose from. So uh, we are both. I don't hate it. I wouldn't put it in my hate. Yeah, pile, I mean I could eat it. But I would absolutely never buy that again, and I would definitely not serve that to company to no. anybody you like and want to make a good impression <laughs> on. Unless you just want to take it to work. <laughs> I'd be embarrassed. I, I would. Don't put I, your name on it. You I would. Yeah, it I would be like, the be like, who brought that in? Because I wouldn't. I would not take <laughs> that. That tastes like a frozen macaroni and cheese mm -hmm. meal. I would that not is. feed that to my coworkers. So, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.